I tried to get the homework done on time, but my dog died and my aunt was helping to bury him and she hit a water line which caused my basement to flood and that's where I picked up the flesh-eating bacteria and whoa, okay? Don't stress out, don't freak out, and I don't need to hear the story. In WebAssign, there's automatic extensions. As a teacher, to set this up, I'm going to go to Communication, and here are the extensions. If you have it set up so that they can ask you, like in an email form, then the answered and unanswered would, would fill up with questions from students. But if you go over here to Settings, these are the automatic extensions, which are really nice, right here, automatic. And I am going to say every time they do an extension, they get one more day, and they get to do three of those, although it's only available up to a week after. That's because after a week past the deadline, I don't want them still thinking about old homeworks. It's time to move forward, and I feel like three days of extensions should be plenty of time, but lots of teachers like to change this. Um, you can give them unlimited number of extensions if that's what your style is. Here's the penalty. You can either make it be penalty on points they earn after the deadline, penalty on the entire assignment, or just you lose these many points. I like to do penalty on points after the extension. That way a student can do an extension and if they don't actually work on the assignment, they haven't lost anything. It's just they also didn't get a chance to earn anything. I've seen 50% for classes that are really trying to tell students you have to be on time, all the way down to 0%, you know, go ahead and extend it yourself, take care of that. Um, I expect that sort of decision is based off what kind of school and what level of class we're talking about. And then down here, yes, homework can be extended, so can quizzes. Tests cannot. I don't want them having this automatic extension deal, so that one I said no extensions. Um, exams or all different types of exams or whatever else. So you can decide which pieces get to have extensions or not. How does this look for a student? They'll see a little button down here that says past assignments and there they can find whichever assignment is in the past. We have here homework five and down here is an extension request. When they click on it, it pulls up and says, okay, you have three more extensions. It's a 10% penalty on everything after the extension request, which students don't seem to read that. They always think it's 10% off the whole assignment and are thrilled to realize that's not the way it is and accept the automatic extension. And then their due date has changed for them. I teach a fairly large lecture class with lots of students. This saves me a ton of time of not having to worry about students' excuses or reasons or problems. Hey, no problem. Go in and do that automatic extension. If you wanted it without the automatic extension, all right, let's talk and bring me a doctor's note. But this saves me a lot of time and effort.